DJ's Brew Tube Beer Review. And what do we have for us today? We've got another beer from Rich, Rich at Rich's World Beer Tour. And with Central Water Brewing Company. That's right. That means some barrel age action because Rich sent me in that beer mail a big ass load of barrel age happiness. And for this one, we have their Brewers Reserve Bourbon Barrel Scotch Ale. Now, since Johnny doesn't like Scotch ales, I will handle drinking all of this. No, because you do the list. I do all the beer drinking. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter whether I like it or now, not. Now, we'll have the role reversal. I will be the stunt drinker for this one, and you can read the notes. Yeah, but you open, and I read the notes anyway. Right, but I'll open, and I'll fill my glass full with this one, and then you can read the notes, and I'll drink it. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, we've got uh, Amherst, Wisconsin, USA, Brewers Reserve, We Heavy, Bourbon Barrel Scotch Ale. Uh, it's available in the spring. We got, yeah, fill mine up to the top first. 9% ABV, somewhere between 20 and 35, per 30 IBUs, 35 IBUs. Uh, it is cherry wood smoked malt, and it's aged in 12-year-old bourbon barrels. We don't know by who, though. So you at Central Water Brewing Company, drop in a line, you know, let us know what you aged in. Now, the ABV on this one, I totally went big-time beer geek because they have nowhere listed. They say approximately 8%, but I watched a newscast that was from Wisconsin, and they Wisconsin. actually... Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yeah. Everything in one box in Wisconsin. And they asked the brewer what the ABV was, and they actually said, I don't know why they don't list it on their bottle. That's odd. They've got the date on there at least. But anyways, let's get an appearance on this one. And it's a 2013. 2013 We Heavy. Awesome glass lacing. Look at that. It's a... Nice dark fruit smells and all that. Oh, Really yeah. dark brown color. <laughs> About a half finger head. Tons of alcohol legs on this. Really coating on the inside of the glass. I'll get a nose, and he's already drinking. Taste the bourbon. Wow. Flavors of the bourbon barrel. On the aroma, I'm getting bourbon and toffee and dark fruits, a little bit of the smoke and like sort of like a, I guess a like a cherry-ish aroma. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting the dark fruit flavors, but I, you know, a little bit of char. Um, the good goodness about the bourbon is coming through. Uh, very nice beer. I it, like this. It smells a little alcoholic, like a little bourbony. But not in a bad way, not in like an off putting way. I'm gonna take a taste now. Cheers, or I guess the Scots would say, so on you, ah. Would they? I thought that was the Irish. No, they both say that. Oh. Why? Well, they have two different languages. Nice. Wow, there is the air freshener again. Mm hmm. It's because Paul's thinking it up over Yeah. <laughs> Wrong Paul. Bear news. No, 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 no. PA Brew News. No bear news. Bad. You can't say bear news because he'll strip down and end up in the hot tub again. No, bad. Paul, that's okay. Compre decompress, buddy. Bear. You don't, no, dress no. up as a bear. <laughs> Not take off all your clothes and be bear. Dress up as a bear. Sasquatch. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you're really going to set him off now. He's going to go out and go squatching. A devil wor worshipping Sasquatch. That's what you should do. So, the, the, the taste on this, I'm getting the bourbon up front. A bit of the wood, like, uh, like, and I guess maybe the smoked malts. It tastes more like barrel char to me. Didn't I say all these things while you were sniffing this crap? A bit of toffee. It's, it's a little boozy, I think. A little bit. For, uh, I for mean, a 9%. You taste, you taste a good bit of the bourbon, but you, you get the other flavors of the cherries and all that in there. Yeah. It tastes like base beer boozy, though. It's not a bad... You know what, the, the, the thing is when you drink like... It's got like, some es in my deeps. You know what the thing is when you drink like Backwards okay. Bastard and the, the real high-end versions of like Barrel Aged We Heavy, you can start comparing everything to that. It's got good mouthfeel. Um, a little light, but good. Medium. Mm-hmm. It's mouth coating. It's got a good amount of sweetness. And it does have a good amount of bourbon taste too, I guess, as well. But I think that's where the booziness is coming out of, is a little bit too much of the bourbon. Yeah, maybe, I don't know how long they had it in the barrel, but maybe it was a whole year or something. Yeah. All in all, it's a good beer. But it's got, it's got some, it's like, the, the flavors aren't in balance. I don't know, maybe it needs more than, than the year it's had in the barrel, I mean in the, in the bottle, I don't know. 
I guess maybe it's less. I don't, I'm not sure when this comes out. Oh, spring. Spring. I didn't so, that. yeah. Well, sorry. Yeah. That time when it comes out. So it's about a year old now, I guess, then. Because it's almost spring now. Yeah. So. Seven days. Mm hmm. I guess it's, to me, it's, it's, it's boozy for what it should be after a year in, in the bottle. I mean, because remember when we did the side by side of uh, Backwoods Bastard? I mean, that year old Backwoods Bastard oh, yeah. was like Sick smooth ass. as glass. And. It was around the same age. Smooth Actually, as my ass? No, no, glass. Oh. Glass. Because what's the back with bastards? Is that 10%? Something like that? You're asking this stunt. Oh, right. sorry. Sorry. Shame on me. Um, so, anyways, what do you grade a beer like this? Well, our, our buddies over at Rake Beer gave it a 99, which is surprising because it's 9%. It's not. Beer. Usually ten. Usually 99 is reserved for 10% and up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the dudes over uh, Beer Advocate, 92 uh, I give it an 89. I like it. Um, I like the flavor. Mm -hmm. I like the the Scotch Ale part of this. The tr big setback would be probably a little bit too boozy from the bourbon barrel, but other than that, it's got it, it's a decent beer. Uh, you know, if I were to go to Wisconsin, let's see there's more. I would buy it again. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the rest will be for the dog. And, but, yeah, that's what I would do. I would, I would buy it again. I mean, it, it's a, it's a good barrel-aged scotch, yeah? I, th I think I'm going to go with, like, 88, like, B+, plus, like you're giving it to. It's, it's a really good beer, but it, it's still boozy even after a year. And I've heard that the Central Waters beers are, are boozy for a while. They're a barrel-aged program. And I think that's coming from... The body of the of the wee heavy that they put into the barrel wasn't wasn't heavy enough to handle the barrel aging, so it picked up more booziness. But it's it's not a bad beer. I just think you'd have to probably sell her this about two years for it to be like, yeah, man, this is an A beer. So we're both giving it a B plus. And if you've had this, let us know. Maybe you like it more than we do. We like the quid pro quo. Let us know. Give us a little back and forth. And we got to talk about something important. If you haven't subbed up to Rich's channel, who sent us this beer, that's hey, Rich's thanks, World Rich. Beer Tour. Thanks a million to you, man. you got to watch his channel. What's your problem? Step up and sub to his channel, too. Because he's got, like, awesome reviews and stuff. Yep. You know, beers we can't buy. Exactly. Exactly. That's why he sends them to us. And you can send us more. That's right. We'll take more, Rich, because we like the beers we'll, you send. We'll try the 2014 of this, too. That's right. We will take one for the team and drink that one as well. <laughs> Always take one for the team. So to the next time, guys, you got to remember, drunk powers activate. That's right. I'm in the form of a good beer. <laughs> you're in the form of a drunken ass stunt drinker. And you're in the form of a beer geek. That's right. Doesn't get laid. Quiet. Don't tell him about the Ixnay on the x -gay. Anyways, to the next time, think globally, drink locally, support the craft beer movement. Send more beer to me. <sighs> Send more beer to me because the stunt drinker makes danger. Until the next time, that's a whole bunch of love and a big ass peace out.